All right, welcome back everybody. My name's Austin. Bitcoin, year to date, is the best performing asset of 2020. We are up over 108%, outperforming the NASDAQ and the S&P, gold and silver, of course, the US dollar and major banks. We know this, we like this. But what's interesting for Bitcoin is not what we've done all year, it's what we're doing right now. Bitcoin's price seems to be suddenly exploding. The movements almost seem sort of manic. So the question, is this accumulation real? Is it organic or is it just manipulation? Of course, today we're gonna to talk about the latest news involving Ethereum, Chainlink, the latest altcoin news. So like always, check the timestamps down below. But let's answer our main question. Is this explosive growth for Bitcoin? Is it real? Well, as of 23 hours ago from on-chain analyst Willy Wu, this is the most organic pump I've seen in years. This was not a squeeze from derivatives traders, but from solid organic buying. Wow. But you know what? It's one thing to say this. To me, you got to prove it. I want to see the data. And luckily, Willy Wu just published a series of charts, a series of metrics showing us specifically the Bitcoin on-chain activity in this last immediate short term. How is this the most organic pump in years? Well, exhibit A, a ridiculous amount of coins were scooped up and moved off to individual wallets. And we can see this right here, net flows of BTC at exchanges. This yellow is Bitcoin's price history. This is the inflows and outflows on and off of exchanges. And for example, we see that coins flowed back onto exchanges as the price dipped, people were selling. As we saw this uptick, coins were leaving exchanges. And that is an outrageous amount of coins being scooped up. Okay, that's exhibit A, very interesting. And zooming out, putting this into perspective, this is the largest one day scoop up in the last five years. And wow, that's true. In fact, it looks like the second highest scoop up in five years came right before the run up. Okay, now that's interesting. And by the way, all this data can be found on Glassnode, which is a pay service. Luckily, Willy Woo published these charts for this month. Well, how about exhibit B? Prior to this pump, the influx of new hodlers seen on the blockchain was going through the roof meaning that there were now clusters of new wallet addresses holding BTC from new unique participants that were unseen before. And here's the chart. This black is Bitcoin's price in the last year. And this yellow orange is net growth of new entities entering the market. Okay, but when he says new hodlers were going through the roof, through the roof, does he actually mean that? Repeat, through the roof. I'm not kidding. The size of an uptake that was even somewhat similar to this was last seen in October of 2017. That was one month before BTC entered its 2017 mania phase. Now the big difference is back in October 2017, Bitcoin's price had already passed their prior all time highs. So the difference now is we are nowhere near mania at the moment because we haven't even broken the prior all time highs. Yet, despite this, like right here, we are seeing this huge uptick of activity on the blockchain. Okay, so what's the point? If you hold Bitcoin, what does this mean to you as a Bitcoin investor? What's the conclusion here? Well, let me take you to the end of this report that was published. By the way, a link in the description, all the data that backs these statements up linked in the description. But the conclusion is, Despite the extreme 2.5K uptick move that we just saw in the last 36 hours, looking at on-chain movements, I am still bullish in the weeks ahead based on unprecedented buying pressure. And that's not to say in the immediate short term, we shouldn't expect shakeouts. Pullbacks do happen. In fact, in the immediate short term, next two weeks, consolidation is expected, bullish thereafter. In the midterm, next three months, investor activity continues to climb bullish. And this report does also share with you the reason we're seeing bullish consolidation. Basically, people are taking profits. We can see that on the blockchain. This is with Bitcoin's SOPR. 
the spent output profit ratio. I'll link this all down below. You take a look for yourself. As we get more information, I'll make a video. I'll keep you updated. Okay, next piece of Ethereum news. Vitalik has just sent 1.4 million of his own Ethereum into the Ethereum 2.0 staking address for preparation of the soon to be launch of ETH 2.0 happening on December 1st. Butrin's VB2 address, I guess, this is one of his addresses that he holds his Ethereum. Of course, he probably has many addresses that we don't know about. This one he do, this one's public. Well, that just sent 100 transactions for 32 Ethereum each, or in total, 3,200 units of Ethereum totaling right now over $1.4 million. All this was open and public, reported by trust nodes. And he was obviously sending a message with how he did it with these numbers, 32, 3,200. And of course, the transactions visible publicly were sent to Ethereum's 2.0 newly launched deposit contract, which went live Wednesday as a means for network participants to move funds from the current proof of work blockchain to the soon to launch proof of stake blockchain. And if Vitalik just sent over 3,000 Ethereum into the contract address, how many now total? The deposit contract now holds 38,693 Ethereum worth some $17 million. So ETH holders are getting excited. And of course, while well, right now we have 38,000 for the Genesis launch, we're gonna need over half a million Ethereum deposited in the contract by over 16,000 validators. I will keep you updated. Next piece of Chainlink news. Chainlink is being integrated with XDAI as the go-to Oracle solution for XDAI developers. If you like Ethereum, this is the type of thing you like to see. XDAI being a uh, scalability solution for Ethereum and of course Chainlink bringing decentralized oracles. We are excited to announce that through a grant from the Chainlink Community Grant Program, we are natively integrating Chainlink's market-leading decentralized oracle network into the XDAI chain. And in terms of why Chainlink? As our preferred oracle solution, Chainlink provides our users with a robust set of guarantees not found in other Oracle networks as it pertains to high quality data, secure node operators, decentralized infrastructure, and transparent operations. Very interesting to see. And of course, XDAI as a layer two scaling solution who supports smart contracts. There's a need for external data as a means of building dApps that can reach to real world events like changes in asset prices, and fluctuating interest rates. Comment below what you feel, what you think about this integration, but let's keep next piece of altcoin news. Ontology is now officially a technical provider for enterprise solutions through Coin Telegraph Consulting. This is big. This I think this is a huge win for Ontology and here are the details. For a thorough adoption of blockchain technology, the road must go through enterprises. This is something we've always known at Ontology. Well, with the recent addition by Cointelegraph Consulting to its technical provider list, after a rigorous screening, right, Cointelegraph Consulting doesn't add just everybody, we are more confident than ever that enterprise solutions will be a cornerstone to not just the success at Ontology, but through the entire blockchain industry as a whole. And just to back up a little, what is Cointelegraph Consulting? Well, you know Cointelegraph. With over 5 million unique visitors each month and over 17 million page views, Cointelegraph has rapidly established itself as one of the media anchors in the blockchain space. And since then, they announced that they're going to be consulting with enterprises. Their consulting arm was launched, aiming to connect the world between blockchain and traditional institutions of all sizes by bringing wider adoption of digital assets and enterprise-grade blockchain solutions through education and professional consulting services. And now I guess Cointelegraph's consulting arm will be recommending when it's applicable, recommending ontology to the people that approach them. And also Cointelegraph sort of listed why. In addition to these in-depth case studies provided, Ontology also offers a series of enterprise solutions in the following sectors. Automotive, 
component authentication, simplifying the supply chain, data marketplace, lowering transactions, transaction costs, improving data quality, ensuring proper data access. Number three is data attestation, which is certification of data and identity. Also in digital finance, everything with having a verified identity, decentralized identity solutions on the blockchain. Let me know what you think about this, but that is the video. My name's Austin. See you tomorrow.